Today we will learn how to properly desludge a purifier, what all things to keep in mind before you press the desludge button, while desludging and after desludge. So this right here what we have is a Mitsubishi self ejector purifier. There are three types of basically purifiers in the Mitsubishi. One is total discharge, one is partial discharge and the third one is hidden types. This one is running on a hidden type purifier. This purifier has been giving a lot of problems recently so I decided to make a video. Now what we have is a multi monitor panel on which digitally you can see the feed rate which is 2000 liters per hour of the dirty fuel oil is going inside the purifier for the purification purpose. The temperature if you can see is 100 degrees celsius. It is just a sluggish uh, because of the sluggish behavior of the temperature control valve for the purifier and this 0.159 what you see is MPA of the back pressure which I am maintaining as per the manual it should be around 1.5 bar or 0.150 MPA. So you can see all the basic parameters on the multi monitor screen and act accordingly in case the alarm comes. Now before I press the desludge button I just want to let you know the gravity disk size I have changed it to 84 mm on this HFO purifier these are the temperature control valves which are not working on their automatic version so I am controlling all the temperatures manually if you see the small sections cylindrical section in between the two temperature control valves was the temperature control heater which is the steam controller now the purifier oil is coming from the steam controller to the silver lagging you can see from the bottom and on the top of the bottom if you see it there is a three-way control valve and from three-way control valve the feed oil goes inside the purifier now the most important thing is the control air it should be clean and dry nicely the one which you are seeing on the screen right here because there was problem in the three-way valve also so we had to change it also there were few problems which it was giving I will explain it in the video now you see on the right side which is going inside this pipe is the dirty fuel oil inlet valve pipe so what happens is the dirty fuel oil is going to the right side and it is coming from the left side of your screen and this is the multi monitor which is showing you the three indications and this is the motor which is driving the purifier because this purifier is a gear driven type always remember to see the lube oil level in the sump it should not be too low it should not be too high so it should be maintained at the mark which is given so you see this is the main control panel for this purifier dedicated purifier now you see the amps it is somewhere 1 for 14 amps for the number 1 HFO purifier always remember whenever you are taking a round always check the amperage of the purifier because that is the first indication you will see whether the purifier is running properly or not you see there is auto running mode there is a feeding mode there is a alarm red color LED there is a control safety mode as well now you see the MM is on always keep it on once you have started the purifier MM means multi monitor function is on because otherwise if it is kept on the purifier starts leaking you will not get an alarm so therefore all the fuel oil will go into the sludge tank and then sludge tank will come up high now you see the valves are there which is SV4 there are four valves which is SV1, SV2, SV3, SV4 this is the feed oil which is going inside right next to it is the three way control valve on top of the three way control valve there is a control air inlet it should be clean nice dry without free of oil now this is the recirculation line in case when the purifier is just running the motor is running not the purification is happening so three way valve will open and the circulation mode will keep on circulating the dirty fuel oil if it is running then the fuel oil will go directly into the purifier the other end will close and after purification it will go to directly to the service tank now these are the water inlets because the operational water is required to keep the purifier running sometimes it is closing water we need sometimes it is opening water sometimes it is displacement water so there are few types of water which are required to open the bowl sometimes it is required to close the bowl one time water is required to maintain the seal interface which we known as which we call as interface so always remember the supply of the water should be sufficient if the hydrophore should be running the filter is also present before the purifier feed inlet of the fresh water always remember to uh, to always clean it if replace it if the it is found clogged or sometimes too much dirt or mud is there 
so always remember to clean it now we press the discharge button once we press the discharge button you will see the number of series of action which will take place when discharging is happening this is manual discharge now immediately i press the discharge button the feeding has stopped so always remember now check the leds so sv4 is now on you see sv4 so indication is on feeding is stopped auto running purifier is running purifier means motor is running not the purification is happening now you see if there's sv3 now what will happen is the feeding has stopped now the displacement water will come it will take all the oil out of the uh, from the it will try to push all the clean oil towards the clean oil outlet once it is happened it will oh, drain the water which is keeping the bowl up and it will give the opening bowl water now once the opening bowl water comes the bowl will suddenly open and the closing water has already shut so you see the closing water has shut now the amperage from 14 amps has come to 10 amps because the purification is not happening because of the feed oil is not coming anymore so therefore is no load on the shaft no load on the shaft means the amps will automatically come down now you see all the leds have gone so therefore now what will happen is the bowl will suddenly open when the bowl opens all the weight of the bowl will come on the shaft now you see the weight of the bowl comes on the shaft so therefore the amps will come up suddenly high now this is how desludge is happening once the desludge has happened again the bowl closing water will come then the displacement water will come then the feed oil will come and suddenly the rpm will start to come up and the amps will come back to normal which is 1414 amps for this specific purifier and the feeding led will come up now you see in the purifier also there is a uh, gauge also which is regulating the pressure recirculation pressure now this is the what displacement water line which is coming from the top of the purifier in between both feed oil dirty inlet and clean oil outlet valve now always remember to adjust the back pressure while you are uh, starting the purifier for the first time thank you so much and be safe